One of my latest speaking clubs was an absolute success. We actually had a very lively discussion between men and women about money. Money was discussed in different aspects and uh, men disagreed with women, women disagreed with men, and in the end we had a consensus. So let me share some of the details of this speaking club. But first of all, let me say that there were three main questions that we discussed. First, the question was how do men show women that the man is financially stable and how women see and how women know that they're actually dealing with a man who can afford a family. It's important because family is about also financial stability. Second thing was what is generous? What is generous for men and what is generous for women? Because there is a lot of speculation about the generous word and I wanted to make some more clarity about it. And the third question was how you can actually show your love without money, which was even the greatest, um, you know, um, emotional blast because it appears to be a lot of things you can show, how you can show your love without money. So let's dive deeper into uh, my uh, latest speaking club discussion and I will share with you what was happening. So first of all, how man can show adequately without bragging, without showing off that he's actually financially stable and secure. Simple, <clears throat> by his hobby. If he, for example, loves coffee, one of the men shares that if I love coffee, I'm going to buy a $15 cup of coffee, not a 50 cents cup of coffee. And uh, I will discuss different brands and different high-end brands of coffee with my girl to show that actually I know this subject and I have enough resources to buy it. Um, then... Um, Men also shared that um, they do not pay attention so much to brands. Uh, and of course, I'm dealing with middle class, serious men who are not into the chase of showing off, but who are in the chase of creating a family. So yeah, men do not see brands as a, in, an important marker of financial stability, yet they see good taste and they see good style, and they see the combination of showing your uh, nice clothes, uh, how you can look uh, within the budget that you possess uh, as, as a sense of good taste and good balance of uh, what you own and uh, what you spend. Also, there was a simple... Um, uh, suggestion to talk uh, about what you spend money on, what you really like, how you like your daily routines, what you will always spend money on and what you will be kind of frugal about. Uh, so, um, and these will be different things for different people and discussing such things with your date, with your girlfriend or with your boyfriend makes sense because you see not only on it's kind of wrong to ask how much you earn, but how you spend your money, whatever it is, without even calling the figures, but your spending habits uh, are even more important on um, how you, um, whether you are the same on the money spending issue. Um, it was said that people uh, stick to their own league. And the set of clothes they wear is actually the passcode for that league. And certainly there are people that have to wear brands because this is part of their society. And they have to wear expensive watches or very highly ended shoes. Uh, but uh, it's not a secret to anyone. Uh, but um, the point was uh, at the speaking club discussion that if you do not belong to that brand or if you do not belong to that group of people and you are just buying those brands to show off, you look fake and you will fail uh, belonging to that uh, society and it will be quickly clear that you aren't there. So honesty is also an important matter in building relationships and presenting yourself within the um, um, social class that, where you belong to. Well, um, 
Men said that it is also good to look for an equal, but we cannot discuss equality in terms of financial figures when it goes to different countries, because different countries have uh, different uh, spending scenarios and different budgets, and these are not comparable. But how you were growing up, what your family was spending money on, whether there was abundance or you were lacking resources. It is all also a very good connecting factor. And some men said that, and some men said that, like, I made myself. I grew up in, in a very poor family and I work hard for every dollar I own now. So I would love to meet a similar type of a person, which actually there are a lot of Ukrainian ladies like that. So it's one more answer that it is a good country to search for your match when you are searching in Ukraine. Uh, there was an idea about being high maintenance. And one man said that actually high maintenance isn't a girl that demands expensive clothes or likes to look good or requires a lot of self-care and so on. But high maintenance is a girl who is careless with your money, who is spending it left and right and burns it uh, without any sense, which was quite an interesting idea from the aspect of relationships. Um, another idea was that a guy likes a girl to dress well. And of course, girls love to dress well. But women mentioned that actually it costs quite a lot to, to dress well. And um, women mentioned to men that if you want us to look fantastic and really dress well, if you dress well, then we both need to dress well and you are buying the clothes that I like and you like too. We, you are choosing it for me, then I dress well for you. And women said they would feel very happy if the man would be picking very personal clothes for her, like lingerie, like home clothes, like, like something that only he can see and nobody else. So that was a very interesting idea that I suggest you to use as well. Uh, and please don't start writing comments that women want only money and so on. Guys, I'm sick and tired of all this and I delete those comments because creating a family needs serious and stable financial stability. Well, stable stability, whatever. But uh, if you just date and you pay for your own coffee, she pays for your own coffee. That's not relationship, that's friendship. When it's relationship, we're sticking to traditional routine when man provides because she gives him children, because they have the offsprings together, because she can do what he cannot and he can do what she cannot. So, and again, some people may hate me and might start writing angry comments saying that men and women are equal, we are equal in our rights. That's 100% true. But we are different physiologically. We are different in our reactions and emotional, um, um, emotional states. We are created different to be together <clears throat> and to make each other stronger and have fun in learning the relationship together. That's why it's fun to be in love. That's why it's fun to have a family. So let's continue. The next question was about being generous. And generous, as I said, it's a very tricky word because uh, dating sites are full of girls, beautiful Insta blogger girls saying, hey, I want a generous man. Yeah, yeah, how much you can spend on me? Oh, here I put um, some clothes, you can, you can buy it for me. Well, that's not the generous I mean. Generous, as the audience said, is a person who is a giver, a person who is happy to share not only the money that he or she has, but also time. Time is non-renewable resource. And if you are generous with your time, with your attention, with your emotional attachment, with your involved communication, 
then you are generous also with other resources that you have. And yeah, uh, we can talk endlessly about supporting Ukraine, giving women mm, like a lot of uh, good, um, um, you know, support nowadays when it's most needed. And it has to go together. Mm, uh, if you are generous with your time and writing her poems, um, you and she has nothing to eat and she's struggling and you're calling yourself uh, her boyfriend, that's being careless. Uh, because I said, generous means attentive to each other, attentive to each other's needs, attentive to each other's situations. And then comes relationships. So talking more in detail about generous. So generous was mentioned in the context of attentive. Because uh, now we are talking about relationship, not when you are just mad that you have to be generous. Well, yes, you have to be generous because you are, um, if you are considering this girl for relationships, then you are paying for the restaurant. You may be even bringing the flowers or candies or something. That shows like a passcode, like I am coming with a message. I am interested in relationship. I'm not just bringing you for coffee here. So I welcome you to consider me as a relationship material. So that's a passcode. But then when you go back and forth a date and spend some more time together, you start living together, you start getting to know each other better, then you are becoming generous with more things, which is involved attention, time and money. And when it comes to money, girls would love to have the private things taken care of. Some clothes to be purchased, unique individual clothes that they wear just for the man in the context of relationships with him that only he can see. So your wild imagination can draw anything you want about it. And girls saw that, yes. Uh, also, um, giving good emotions and um, creating situations when you can give good emotions, whatever it brings. Mm, for example, you know that your girlfriend likes, um, you know, some type of sushi. So you find that uh, type of restaurant and you bring her there because A, you're generous with your emotions because you want to see good emotions and you are bringing her in to see, uh, to have good interactions and you're generous with your time. So all that comes together. It's not only about buying her a piece of underwear, hey. And there was the third question that brought a lot of interesting ideas. And it is so um, varied. It is um, so um, creative that I want to de dedicate a special video to that. So continue watching my videos. Uh, one of my next videos is going to be dedicated to how you can show your love without spending a lot of money. And those were ideas, not only from men, but also from women. So continue watching my videos. And if you like the content I make, please subscribe and uh, you know, search uh, for, uh, for my website. Go to possible.ua or marriagebynatalie.com. All the links are in the description to this video. Uh, you can also join my um, Telegram channel exclusively for men. Only men are there where I share new videos, new information, uh, invitations to my speaking club and all of the information that makes a matchmaking boutique possible, a good platform for introducing people who want to create a family. So see you on my next video about how to show your love without spending money.